Health advocates like Suzanne Summers and everyday people from all walks of life have found LifeWave vital to enjoying improved energy, better sleep, reduced pain, and more youthful vibrancy. Where did it all begin? I remember when I was eight years old, my parents took me down to the workshop of Thomas Edison. Uh, So when I got home that afternoon, I told my father that I wanted to be an inventor when I grew up. And uh, my dad said to me, well, you know, there's no such job. You you can't be an inventor. And I said, well, why not? He said, well, you just can't. And, uh, you know, that's a joke that we have between the two of us that we still laugh about to this day. LifeWave founder and CEO David Schmidt began his career in medical device design and manufacturing. In 1996, he moved to Atlanta, where he returned to his passion for inventing by joining an inventor's club, winning numerous awards, and eventually forming a company based on one of his inventions. One day I was giving a presentation for a government contractor, and uh, they invited me to be part of a design team for one of the Navy's next generation mini subs. So uh, we were trying to find a way to keep people alive longer. And I thought, well, I personally object to this whole idea of using caffeine and stimulants to stay awake. So maybe there's a new way that we could approach this. Uh, So I worked on this for several years and uh, developed the LifeWave prototypes. The problem was that we had just gone through uh, 9-11 and uh, the U.S. military was interested in in weapons, not survival equipment. And uh, it it normally takes over seven years to get a new product uh, through the Navy. So I decided, well, I know that consumers are really going to love a technology that improves energy uh, without having to use stimulants. So uh, that's why I decided to go to the public with it. And with those patch prototypes, David found his calling, and by summer of 2002, he launched the LifeWave company. That first year of LifeWave was pretty rough. Uh, I I remember I didn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, A very typical day for me was getting up at 6 in the morning, uh, going about my day doing work, uh, phoning acupuncturists, medical doctors, athletes, personal trainers, Uh, working all day doing that, and then uh, getting up late at night to make patches because we didn't have a patch manufacturing facility.